Hello everyone, welcome to another, or the second, Roblox game development tutorial. This tutorial, we still aren't going to get too much done, and we're going to continue explaining things. Um, we're going to learn a little bit about this explorer, and these different, I guess you could call them folders that are inside of it. So, first, let's, um... Let me clean my screen off. Okay, let's go over workspace. What's the workspace? The name doesn't actually make too much sense. So, at least for what it does. So, typically, workspace is kind of like, say you're... Uh, I'm not going to do that. Alright, so, workspace is in Roblox, where everything you see everything you can see here except for the sky and stuff but most of everything you see um, besides shoe eyes and the sky and stuff like that the bricks are always all in the workspace because that's where Roblox renders stuff okay that's this the workspace is the rendering spot so everything here all of this this is all in the workspace. In fact, I can show you it's in the terrain. I won't go too deep into this yet. Next, we have players. Players is where the players, when they come into the game, it's not the characters that you see. It's the players are the things that show up in the leaderboard and on the chat. They actually have two different parts, and we'll go over that more later. The lighting. Um, Lighting is typically used to store um, models and bricks that you don't want people to see at the time, uh, and scripts and stuff, because no scripts and stuff run in lighting uh, while they're in that lighting, and we'll go over that more too. But it deals with the sky. It deals with um, time and fog and other stuff like that. And I don't believe... We'll be going over any of that just yet. Next up is the starter GUI. Starter GUI is where the GUIs are put that every player will have at the beginning, when they spawn, when they come in, all that. And we'll go over that as well um, later on when we get to our GUI part. Starter pack is where tools are put that you want every player to have. If you want a player to have it just when they start, you just put in the tool in the starter pack, and they will have it when they spawn. Next up is the debris. Debris is a more complicated. Um, debris is a bit more complicated. You throw things in there, and they're supposed to delete themselves sooner or later. Sound service. This one's really complicated. Uh, but you can kind of change stuff around in here, and it will make sounds different. We won't go over sounds really long for now. It'll be probably close to tor uh, to it'll be past tutorial 50 most likely probably a lot further than that before we get into sounds um and there's also a couple others that you can put in here such as teams where your teams are um like the teams at the top and the leaderboard uh that's how those are made and we'll go over that too but not yet um again we're just o going over an overview now in lighting i'm going to go over i'm not going to really tell you what anything is but I'm going to go over the hierarchy and how that kind of works. So thankfully, the Explorer in Roblox is really straightforward. It tells, it, it gives us an idea of, okay, this is inside of this, and let me just explain. We aren't in scripting yet, but I'll give a brief overview. Uh, if it's inside of something, that means that it's a descendant or a child. If it's, if it's directly above, like terrain's directly under workspace, and workspace is directly above terrain. Well, terrain's parent is called a workspace, or the workspace is its parent because it's directly above, and terrain is its child directly. But if terrain were, say, under anything else that was under workspace, then it would be a descendant, and workspace would be an ancestor, okay? And that's for scripting purposes only, really, but also for talking purposes, because I will use those terms later on, so try to remember those, okay? Um, and by the way, if you ever get stuck, you can go to this help or 
please comment. I will answer your questions. And you can go into the object browser and it will help you as well. Or the Roblox Wiki. So that, that's how this, uh, you can move stuff around. And we'll go over properties next tutorial, tutorial, just a couple properties, not too many of them. But, you know, it'll be good. And, you know, I just, nah, that's, I'm not going to go over that. So, I ho this was just a quick tutorial about Explorer. I didn't get much done, and I'm not going to um, for a little while longer, actually. Um, next, the next tutorial will be going over properties. After that, we'll probably be going over some of these toolbar things. And maybe two, three tutorials from now, we can get started on real work. But you need to know your environment, your development environment, before you can really get to work so that you can make the best game you can possibly do. Remember, guys, this is all going to be about curiosity, too. And I can't teach you that. So be thinking of ideas you can make. Roblox can do about anything. So think of some ideas you want to make. Tell me about them, and maybe I can teach you some of the things you'd need to know to do that. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. Please comment below to tell me some things you'd like to see to make this series better. And, subs and um, stay tuned for next episode. Thanks, bye.